Yes. Hello and welcome to Seven Sentinels. This is Grandmaster Class, and I am Peter Simon with you. I am an OET specialist. All of you can attend the session, make notes, and prepare in your own sentences. Whether you are a doctor or a nurse or a podiatrist or a physiotherapist or a dietitian or whatever profession you belong to, these lecture series which I'm going to give you will be benefited, benefit you. Yes, uh, Abdullah Rashid, after this one, there's a letter for the doctors. So you attend this one, then afterwards there will be a letter for doctors. So you can attend that one also. Anybody can attend doctor's letters also because I'm going to give you how to write sentences. Fine. This is the letter here. Now go through this letter. Go through this letter. Yes, go through this letter. This is the first one. Yes.
Yes, last page. Yeah. Yeah, now we are going to the letter part. So, Nisha, Pranita, Tasneem, Sophia, Roy. Sophia, Roy from Nepal. Very good, Nisha. You have done a good job. You invited a friend. Yes. Right. So here it is. File save as. Okay. Yes, here is the letter. I'll save as lecture. Lecture five June twenty twenty three. Okay, so this is the notes which we are going to use now, right? Now what you can do is you can just take the quality check answer sheet. So quality check, okay, single page. You can just take quality check answer sheet single page, here it is. So save as, yeah. Single page, right. This is uh, Mr. Lionel Ram. Okay. Lecture. Okay. Five June twenty twenty three. Yeah, so I have saved here. Yeah, this is the answer sheet. Organized pages. Okay, seven, eight, okay. Now in the first page, 
We will write the essentials. First page. Okay. So here we will write. Okay. What are we supposed to write? So here we are supposed to write what? The address. First we have to write the address. Now the address. Write the address. What are the seven components you have to write? So they are the seven components. These are the seven components. These are the seven components that you have to write. Yeah, these are the seven components that you have to write. So first one, you have to write the address. Okay, first one, you have to write the address. Now we'll, this is the format style, okay? Format style. Now we are going to the second page. So here we'll write the address. Okay, okay this is the style. Second page, here, we are writing the address. The address from where you can take, from here. Miss Georgian Ponsford, Residential Community Nurse, Community Retirement Home, 103 Light Street, Newtown. This is the address. So I have taken the address from here and I am posting it here. So simple as that. Write the address as it is. First you write the address, always write the address. Many people write the date first and then the address, but OET is giving like this. So always write like this only. Next one. Third line, community retirement home. 103 Light Street. New town. So this is the address. This is the address. So you, what are the things that are involved in the address? You have to know what are the things involved in the address. So you should know that one. What are the things involved in the address here? The name, number one. This is the name. Okay, next one. The designation. Then the facility. Then the street. Then the town. Okay, so these are the five things that you will write. These are the five things that you are going to write. Definitely. Don't use any full stop, don't use any comma. That's it. So one, two, three, four, this is the address. This is the address. You have to follow these things very clear. Right. Once you've done the address, then we'll go to the second part. So address is done. Now we'll go to the second part, that is the date. We'll go to the second part, that is the date. So this is called checklist. We are making a checklist. Yes, uh, Mr. Rashid Abdullah, Muhammad Ahmad Rashid Abdullah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Can you tell me what is the use of a checklist? The use of the... Sorry, sir, again. What is the use of a checklist? Checklist. Checklist to ensure that you are not missing any... Uh, yes, you are absolutely right. So now I am giving a checklist. Now you have to take this list and keep it in your mind. Yes. In the exam hall. Now on the paper you can write this checklist. And you yes, have to sir. tick mark everything. You are not supposed to miss anything. That is the point. Now yes, tell me. Sir. One by one you are going to use these things. Very good. Yes. Thank you very much. So okay. all of you what you have to do is you can ensure, see like this, how you are ticking all these things in this order you have to do. 
So now we are going for the date. We are going for the date. Now let us take the date. So this is the, yeah. So Georgian, Miss Georgian Pondford, resident community nurse, community retirement home, 103 Light Street and Newton. This is the address. We have taken this information from here. Then we'll take the date. Date is here, 11 February 19. This is discharge date, but today's date is 10th February 2019. This is today's date. So today's date, remember that they'll give you today's date, but in the exam, you'll write the same date as of the exam. So that is today's date. So 10th February 2019, this you will write as it is. Just copy text. So date, we're going here. And writing here, leave one line. Leave one line. Okay. After this one, you have to leave one line here. Yeah. So leave one line. Leave one line. After every component, leave one line. That's very important. Okay. Yes. So leave one line. So this blue is very important. So that's why I gave you blue color there. Okay, this I'm giving red color, so differentiate. Next one is the date. You will write the date here. Yeah, the date, this blue one only will go into the letter. Okay, so that is the date, 10 February, 2019. That is the date. Then again, you leave another line here. You leave another line here. Okay. Right. So leave another line here. Leave one line. Yes. Leave one line here. Then what you have to do is here, you will write the, what is that you have to write next point is the salutation. You are going to write the salutation. Salutation. So salutation, what salutation you will write here? Yeah. What salutation you are going to write here? Dear. D-E-A-R, dear. And this title, Miss. Miss and Ponsford. Here, what is their second name? Dear Miss Ponsford. Dear Miss Ponsford. Okay. So dear Miss Ponsford, that's it. So we have written here, this is the date. The date. The date. This is number two, the date. And this is number one, the address. This is the date. Yeah, next one, this is the salutation, number three. The salutation. Then again, leave one line here. Leave one line here. See, a doctor is attending a nurse's case notes. 
doctors are attending nurses case notes but nurses don't want to attend doctors letters i don't know why they think that this is not our letter okay there is nothing everything is the same only you are a nurse or a doctor that's only the difference otherwise everything is the same grammar is same vocabulary is same structure is same address is same everything is same then i don't know why they think that they are wasting their time uh -huh. so next one fourth one is the subject line the subject fourth one is the subject now what is the subject here the subject is regarding r e regarding column regarding regarding who mr lionel ramamurthy aged 63 from where did we get this information from where did we get this information is here mr lionel ramamurthy from here and 63 years old this is here date of birth is not given that's why we did not write otherwise date of birth should be written if date of birth is not there age can be written so mr lionel ramamurthy aged 63 this will write so that's it mr lionel ramamurthy aged 63 fine this is how we'll write then next we'll start the body of the letter the body of the letter the body okay we are going to write the body of the letter if you write a 10th february then you have to write a 10th third 10th of february so it's a necessary headache no need to write no need to write only the last whatever i am telling that only follow that so this is absolutely 100% right even in the official letter it is like that only you want to see you can see here i'll give you the sample all the letters will be like that only you cannot write 10th it is 10 february 29 if you write a 10th then you have to write the 10th because it's a card, uh, ordinal number then you have to learn the rules just write like this na simply just write like this it will be easy for you yeah so see here february in full you have to write here also four digits you have to write and here you have to write two digits here also you have to write two digits uh ramandeep no don't write like this don't write like this that is not fine right the 10th february only write like this in all the official notes like this only it will be there official oed what i am telling is a rules i cannot explain all the rules so just write like this that is enough okay please so that's what you can do here now let us see that's a simple example simple example here don't try any other format this is the best format if you write a 10th then you have to write the 10th because it's a definite article if you write the 10th you have to write of february the 10th of february 2019 like that you have to write unnecessary don't write just write like this okay if you want to see i'll give you some more ex examples this is peter dunbar if you don't believe you can just see here peter dunbar see how it is given first address then date many people say first date then address no don't follow don't follow them no need to put commas nisha no need to put commas just to put like this 
just put like this as it is whatever i am showing that itself you have to do this is second letter i have shown now this is peter dunbar letter second official letter now i'll show you third letter mad people will be teaching mad things don't follow just follow oet okay people who don't know much they will teach anything you can write no sorry see here 30 august 2019 there is no comma there is no th nothing is there there is no august it's, nobody wrote 08 here okay so better follow the rules now fourth letter i am showing you even doctors letters also like that only okay you can see here 30 august 2019 see here 30 august 2009 there is nothing else first address then date then next fifth letter you see fifth letter here here also 15 may there is nothing no other style so follow this style 100% that's all don't do any uh, personal uh, techniques go official style so that you will be safe it is not your game it is oet's game so follow their style as it is so the body of the letter we will write okay we will write the body of the letter then we will write the after the body of the letter we will write the concluding parts so first let us finish these parts so body after the body of the letter okay we are going to write uh, yeah these are the closing remarks yours sincerely why you are sincerely because name is given georgian ponsford name is given the first line is name georgian ponsford that's why you are saying you are sincerely okay if the name is not given then you have to say yeah you have to say yours faithfully if you start with this one resident community in nuts no name is there then you have to write yours faithfully so after you are sincerely you have to leave two lines line 1 line 2 two. two lines you have to leave sir why should we leave two lines sir i can tell you here you see an example here here only one line but here two lines see here see the difference between this and this because normally you leave one line then you need signature or name here you need to write your signature or name so leave two lines here remember that leave two lines that will be very much beneficial leave two lines that is very very important so remember that now here yours sincerely then next you will write the address you will write the your address you will write your address what is your address now let us see your address is here go to the beginning and see here okay you are the charge nurse you are the charge nurse this is a part of your address charge nurse you are a charge nurse and then second line you are in the medical ward you are in the medical ward many people don't know how to write this okay they lose 20 marks simply they don't get these marks because you don't write you will not get these marks medical ward there is a second one second line then third line is here new name of the hospital is here already new town public hospital 41 main street in new town this is the full address it is there but many people don't know okay if you don't know doesn't mean that it is right 41 main street new town
so this is how you have to write so now we will go for the body so now let us see here we have completed salutation then we have completed the reference the subject line okay then body we did not write still then we have completed the closing remarks then we have completed the sender's particulars so this all these things finished only body is now remaining so now next we will go for the body of the letter this is body of the letter so now we are going for the body of the letter okay body of the letter now here so the body of the letter the body the body of the letter we have to write in five paragraphs the introduction the main problems the other important problems the discharge plan and the conclusion these are the five parts of the body these are the five parts of the body okay all of you tell me whether you have understood or not till now the other other than body so all the other six parts leave the body other parts till now till now concept clear or not any doubts concept clear say yes or no yeah fine now we are going to the body first we will start with the introduction so we'll start with the introduction right now we are going for the inter okay here what it is we know here body so this body we are going to five paragraphs so number 5 the body okay five paragraphs okay then this is what number 6 the closing remarks the closing remarks and this is the seven seventh one is the address sender's particulars the sender's particulars the sender's particulars okay the sender's particulars fine now in the sender's particulars there are again five different things the same things which are there here okay here also the same things will come yeah first one is the designation here name is not there so name is not there so we'll start with the designation okay sometimes name also they will give so first one is the designation then second one is the department they may change the style then the facility that is newton public hospital then the street and the town so i think you understand now what i am showing you these are the five things which you have to write here okay that's done right next we are going to do the introduction now we are going to do the introduction okay so introduction now in the introduction what you are supposed to write so introduction introduction what you are supposed to write first you have to write the subject okay the subject then you have to write the condition 
then you have to write a diagnosis. Then you have to write type of letter, the style of letter. Then you have to write the purpose. Then you have to write the destination. Then you have to write the time frame. So all these things you have to write. These are the things you have to write. The subject. What is the subject? The subject is Mr. Lionel Ramamurthy. Now let us see here. The subject is Mr. Lionel Ramamurthy. Okay, copy text. The subject we are writing here. And don't need to write Mr. Lionel Ramamurthy every time. Just Mr. Ramamurthy is enough. That is the subject, Mr. Ramamurthy. Then, that is done. Next, the condition. What is his condition here? The condition is, you can see here, he was admitted. He was admitted. He was admitted. Or he was diagnosed. You can write admitted as a condition or a diagnosis as a condition, anything. So let us take diagnosed with a pneumonia. So he was diagnosed with pneumonia. Okay. He was diagnosed with pneumonia. Now let us see here. So the condition is admitted. Admitted to the hospital. Okay, diagnosed. Next one is diagnosed. Okay, diagnosed with what? Pneumonia. Okay, he was diagnosed with pneumonia. The style of the letter. The style of the letter is, how do you know the style of the letter? You will know here. Discharge plan, so discharge letter. Write a discharge letter. So it is a discharge letter. So this is a discharge. The word discharge should come here. Discharge. The purpose. What do you want them to do after discharge? That is called the purpose. You want them to, okay. Uh, so, the, okay. Is going back to the retirement home. So nursing management, encourage fluids, encourage chest physio, exercises. So manage his condition. Then keep warm, good nutrition, help monitoring. So he requires monitoring and he requires management. He requires management. He requires management. So all these are management, encouragement, ambulation, all these things. Monitoring the diet, monitoring the diet, and managing the condition, exercises, and everything. So management, so uh, monitoring, and management. So you can say here, uh, ongoing monitoring, or continuity of monitoring, or continuation of monitoring or regular monitoring, okay, or continuing monitoring and appropriate management. That is what it is. Okay, this should come here. Then next, the destination, where is he going after discharge? He is going to the community retirement home. He is going to the community retirement home. This letter will accompany Mr. Ramamurthy back to the retirement home. He is going back there. That means he came from there. His residence is in community retirement home, Newtown. You can see he came from there and he is going back there. He is going back to the retirement home upon his discharge. When is his discharge? Tomorrow. Discharge is tomorrow. Remember that. Discharge is tomorrow. So all these things are very important. He is going to his retirement home. Destination is retirement home. The retirement home is going back.
is going back to the retirement home. When is he going back to the retirement home? Tomorrow. He's going back to the retirement home tomorrow. So this is what is the standard introduction, standard introduction. You are getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. Seven points. Whether you accept or not, that is not my problem. Okay. You can see the quality there. Okay. So all these things are very, very important. So we took the subject, who is the patient? We took the condition. Okay. And we took the condition, is admitted. And what was the diagnosis? Pneumonia. The style of the letter is discharge. The purpose is ongoing monitoring and appropriate management after a discharge. Then next to the destination is, he's going back to the retirement home. He came from there, going back there. And then when is he discharged? Tomorrow. So that's it. Now, if everything is clear, okay? Introduction. Introduction. Okay? Introduction. Is the information clear enough? Okay? If it is clear, you say clear. And if you have any doubts, type doubts. So that I can ask you. What is your doubt? Just write clear yes or no. So that we can go to the introduction. Now we are going to write the introduction now. Now this introduction, different, different types of introduction you can write. Now for example, I'm taking this introduction. Okay, all these points and I'm going to write the introduction here. Okay. So I'm going to write the introduction here. Okay. The body. The body. So in the body, we are writing the introduction now. The body introduction. So the body introduction. So that's here. Mr. Ramamurthy. Don't write again Lionel Ramamurthy. Enough, Mr. Ramamurthy, comma, who was admitted to the hospital after contracting pneumonia or having contracted pneumonia, comma, requires okay requires what you have to write requires you will write this one okay requires okay Ongoing monitoring and appropriate. Half it is going this side. So write in the next line. Don't write in this empty white space. Close it before this dot, last dot. You should not write here in this white margin. This white area is the margin. Do not write here in this left margin and right margin. Okay, start from this right. Appropriate management following the discharge back to the retirement home, back to your facility. Because retirement home, we are writing in the address, so no need to write. Back to your facility tomorrow, full stop. So this is a standard yeah, introduction, standard introduction. Standard introduction. Yeah, Dr. Abdullah, I'm very proud of you because you are attending the nurses uh, lecture. I'm really proud of you because 
Uh, there are many doctors who don't want to attend. Uh, my students will attend. My doctors, my students, they will attend. But others, no? some nurses, they don't want to attend. Some nurses attend, but all, not all. Okay. So I'm Thank very proud of you, really. So now tell me, you wasted almost one hour, I think. Did you waste one hour? No, no, no. It's very informative, sir. And very uh, organized and helped me to be more uh, accurate in my writing. Every day I am attending, I increase my uh, performance in writing, be more accurate to avoid any mistake. Very fine things can <clears throat> lose marks like space, uh, commas like this. We should learn everything, vocabularies, how to uh, organize letters. It is very good. The more practice, the more uh, the result will be. Yes, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nisha Radu. Nisha Rai. Hello, Nisha Rai. Nanda Rai. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, are you able to understand the quality now? Yes, sir, I understand. And yes, it's... Nisha Radu or Nanda Rai is a student from Nepal. She is nursing. And yesterday she attended my session and she is joining my classes on a regular basis for a crash course because I'm giving more special attention because she has exams. Okay, she already suffered pain in the previous tests and nobody guided her properly. That is what she told. So she's attending my session. She is registering now and she has joined my classes by paying the money. And uh, uh, she has already invited Sophia Rai, okay, to attend this session. I think, I don't know, but I think you have her invited because she's also Roy and she's Sophia Rai, I think from Nepal. You are a colleague or friend, maybe the one whom you like the most. So you invited her. So it shows your interest. Um, yeah. Now tell me, how was this session beneficial for you? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this session is uh, very uh, beneficial for me. By uh, you are giving us uh, about to clear a uh, picture of the writing. Uh, and uh, also you give uh, us uh, how to uh, choose the uh, correct uh, or relevant uh, notes and how to write the letter and uh, write uh, letter format uh, as well as uh, you also uh, give us the uh, uh, chart. I don't know what that. Uh, that's uh, also have us guide the letter how to write. Uh, which one uh, is we have to write first, and which one is uh, uh, then uh, it's uh, formulate the letter accurately, and it's guided us uh, very accurately. So that's why it's very helpful. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, did you invite Sophia Rai? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I can understand. Why did you feel like inviting your friend? Yeah, I invite her to join uh, this class. I don't know. After we finish the class, uh, what uh, she will feel. Okay, fine. Because you have referred her, I'll give her some special uh, scholarship. Yeah. Right, same like you. Right. Okay. Okay, Thank Sophia you. Rai, new student, welcome to the session. Can you unmute? Say how it is beneficial for you. Sophia Rai, you can speak a few sentences about yourself. What is your name? What is your profession? Sophia Rai, if you are comfortable. Otherwise, no problem. Okay. Yeah, Sophia Rai, fine. So, Tasneem, she is a nurse from the... Saudi Arabia, originally from Pakistan. Tasneem, can you share your experience? Was that useful for you? Yeah, sir. It's it's really useful for me because you give a, a lecture about every step of the letter. So it's it's amazing and it's really useful for me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. So introduction is finished. Now we'll go to the body paragraph. The main body paragraph one. The main body paragraph one. Okay. The main body paragraph one. What are you supposed in the main body paragraph one? So you can write uh, 
the main body paragraph 1 will be regarding admission upon admission okay the main body paragraph will be upon admission now let us see here the main body paragraph okay the main body paragraph so here five body paragraphs introduction this is introduction the main body paragraph here the main problems so it can be upon yeah so here it is the main body per here we can say upon admission first one is upon admission so this you can take upon admission then this you can take during hospitalization okay here you can start with upon admission and here you can start with during hospitalization and this is regarding post to discharge following the discharge post to discharge plan so this is discharge plan or post to discharge upon discharge so these are the three things which you will write here these are the three things which will write here upon admission during hospitalization and post discharge okay so that's it so these are the three paragraphs that we are going to write now let us see body paragraph 1 what you will write in the main body paragraph 1 okay in the main body paragraph 1 okay what are you going to write okay what are you going to write the point is uh, what was his condition during admission okay what was his condition during admission what was his condition during admission okay so you can say on okay or upon admission comma upon admission or you can say on four so you can see here when he was admitted 4 february 2019 okay on 4 february comma upon admission so like this you can write on 4 february date also you can write upon admission comma yeah now what happens what are the important things you have to write so medical background admitted with pneumonia so he was experiencing acute shortness of breath number 1 number 2 inspiratory and expiratory means both complete wheezing not the inspiratory means inside wheezing expiratory means outside while breathing outside so in breathing inside and breathing outside it's a complete breathing problem wheezing wheezing so no need to write inspiratory and expiratory because inspiratory is the first half expiratory is the second half inspiratory is going in expiratory is coming out so both are there so no need to write only inspiratory means write inspiratory only expiratory means write expiratory if both inspiratory and expiratory then just write wheezing finished wheezing includes inspiratory and expiratory both together so just write wheezing then next he has persistent cough okay and uh, as a result is facing chest and abdominal pain and he has fever and he has rigors and he has sleeplessness and he has generalized ache okay so right, these are the things and on admission he was mobilizing with a pickup frame and assistance was provided to perform activities of daily living so all these points will be going there so now first let us see here admitted with the pneumonia already done finished admitted with pneumonia upon admission 
get admitted with pneumonia already here okay he had acute shortness of breath wheezing persistent cough chest and abdominal pain fever rigors generalized uh, sleeplessness generalized ache and mobilizing with and assistance with adls all these points are there and assistant with adls regarding what for example showering dressing etc okay then his condition body was very weak uh, feeble and ambulating only short distances with increasing shortness of breath on exertion so all these points you have to write in admission medical background okay progress in the hospital progress in the hospital this is before coming to the hospital this is the condition before coming to the hospital before coming to the hospital before coming to the hospital now you can see very clearly here right yeah before coming to the hospital so this paragraph this is main body paragraph 1 this is main body paragraph 1 this is the main body paragraph 1 so upon admission all this is main body paragraph 1 you have to write these things so now let us see here how we are going to write all these points right okay all these points i'm putting here so that i need not go there again and again so all these points have come here okay this for my reference So I brought all these notes here, so that I need not go there again. On fourth February, upon admission, what was happening at that time of admission? So he was experiencing. What are the? What was he experiencing? Okay. Anything you can write here. Okay. Anything you can write here. At that time, he was experiencing these things: fever, rigors. Okay. sleeplessness dyspnea wheezing acute shortness of breath all these things okay so he was experiencing so don't write he was experiencing just write straight away we don't want to write he 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 every time don't want mr lionel ramamurthy we know okay so right. so what you can write is uh, fever comma so fever is gone remove fever then next one rigors take from here rigors comma so rigors is gone fever rigors rigors is gone okay then he was experiencing these things on 4 february upon admission fever rigors okay were being experienced he was experiencing so and rigors fever and rigors were being experienced passive voice fever and rigors were being experienced passive voice don't write he was experiencing that is also correct but quality is low low quality low quality low quality fever and rigors were being experienced that's how you have to write 
the next one uh, additionally comma so what are the other things here you can see here sleeplessness sleeplessness okay what is this sleeplessness what is this sleeplessness what is this sleeplessness you should know yeah so sleeplessness now let us take one word called dyspnea what it, does this word mean d y s p n e a or o e a dyspnea difficulty in breathing and the feeling of not getting enough air breathing difficulty this is called a dyspnea it's a medical word and it's a specialized word is a medical word and it is a specialized word breathing difficulty that you can use the word dyspnea instead of uh, shortness of breath acute shortness of breath you can use the word dyspnea additionally dyspnea d y s p n o e a dyspnea comma then dyspnea comma so breathing difficulty acute shortness of breath so that is breathing difficulty okay you can see right breathing difficulty then what else yeah then next you can see breathing difficulty shortness of breath this is breathing admitted to pneumonia is over we got this finished then acute shortness of breath that is breathing difficulty we said dyspnea the word you use is dyspnea and inspiratory and expiratory wheezing so remove inspiratory and expiratory and just to say wheezing just to say wheezing here yeah so that is wheezing okay wheezing and then you see sleeplessness here take this sleeplessness so sleeplessness okay one by one think about all these points so dyspnea wheezing sleeplessness were reported okay they were reported so don't use he 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 again and again so wheezing and sleeplessness so here last word before last word you have to say and and sleeplessness were reported at the time of admission that is what it is we said already upon admission already said were reported full stop and sleeplessness were reported full stop right so now next one next point is you see here uh, so now next one now what happened regarding the condition still so you can see here medical progress is here slow but independent dry cough still cough is there even now also cough is there some chest and abdominal pain is still there so at the time of the beginning he had chest and abdominal pain and persistent cough the dry cough is there chest and abdominal pain is there so these things are still continuing okay so that also you have to write along with this one here okay or you can write here uh, next one so if you write together that is better yes now uh, were reported then here you can say uh, third point third, third point then persistent cough this one you can write here okay take it here persistent cough you can write that one you can write that persistent cough 
chest and abdominal pain uh, pain this is because of this one okay because of persistent cough because of persistent cough coughing so uh, so here persistent cough start with capital letter p persistent cough okay uh chest and abdominal pain so this we can write it later so first we start with chest and abdominal pain chest and abdominal pain probably due to persistent cough okay like that you can change so chest and abdominal pain probably due to persistent cough was uh informed full stop right you can see that there so three sentence two sentences three sentences we have written three sentences we have written right generalized x they have no need of generalized x they are generally they are special then you can write common generalized x is common so this is unnecessary to write it's general x everyone will have those things those you need not write okay right then next one now this one you have to write mobilizing with pick up frame this one you will write so the next sentence mobilization mobilization now already mobilize is there here so don't use mobilization right ambulation ambulation has been possible with the support of a ambulation is possible mobilization with pick up frame pick up frame with the support of a pick up frame we made this sentence here generalized egg we don't need to write okay so mobilization with a pick up frame we used this one finished this sentence is finished now assistance with activities of daily living okay so assistance assistance for performing activities of daily living such as assistance for activities performing activities of daily living such as showering and dressing was required at the time of admission upon admission that's it so we finished this one also this sentence also we got okay right then next very weak okay very weak what do you can say uh, weak feeble condition feeble extremely feeble extremely feeble what is the meaning of feeble now let us see the word feeble f e e b l e feeble feeble is c2 vocabulary feeble is c2 vocabulary we use this word weak and without energy without strength without power use this word feeble it's a very powerful word extremely feeble extremely feeble health physical condition or body condition extremely feeble physical health condition has been noticed okay has been noticed okay now ambulating is there here so use mobilization change the word mobilization 
mobilization so now here already we used here ambulation has been possible with the support of a pickup frame but the same thing you can we need not use another sentence there itself we can write here ambulation has been possible ambulation has been possible ambulation has been possible only for short distances only for short distances with the support of a pickup frame okay with increased shortness of breath on exertion so here with increased shortness of breath on exertion full stop so so that is the first paragraph so everything is finished now yeah that is body paragraph 1 upon admission this is how you can write you can write your own sentences now i want your comments have you understood any doubts any doubts is that clear just write clear or not or any doubts yes or no this is the upon admission yes so finished this is enough next one we'll write the main body paragraph 2 main body paragraph 2 yeah main body paragraph so here you write what is happened in the hospital okay what is happened in the hospital next so what happened in the hospital we are going to write what happened in the hospital during hospitalization during hospitalization so body paragraph 2 so it is during hospitalization yeah during hospitalization comma yes okay during hospitalization right now how is condition is now during hospitalization where you get the information during hospitalization it is a febrile inflammatory conditions mark us back to normal the walking is slow but independent walk and shower at toilet slow but independent He is able to walk slowly, independently, and he is able to do showering and toilet independently. So dry cough, suggested of weight gain. He has gained a weight, one point five kg. Post review with the dietitian. Okay, right. So these are the points which you have to write here. 
and an England is in with that, there is nursing management. Also, encourage oral fluids, proper dietitian, these are again. Ambulation as according to the physical review. Uh, are we? Uh, next one. Encourage physio, chest physio, deep breathing and coughing exercise have been provided. Sitting is preferred rather than lying down for ensuring postural drainage. Overall good progress. So partly from here and it should continue into the discharge plan also. So now let us see here. His condition has improved. His inflammatory markers are back to normal. So his problems, breathing problems have been resolved. Okay, breathing problems have been resolved. So now let us see here. During prop, uh, hospitalization, so the breathing problems, the condition has been stabilized. The condition, the condition has been stabilized. And the breathing problems are Resolved. The condition has been stabilized and the breathing problems have been resolved. So, present tense. This is during hospitalization, is present tense. This is past tense. Everything passed here. So, here, here was noticed. So here, ambulation was. All these things you can write past. Okay. So, all was. Here has been and on. So, have been resolved. Breathing problems have been resolved. Yes. Then, in spite of that, you can see here, uh, dry cough and some chest and abdominal pain are still there. However, only one thing is there here, or but, however, however, uh, some, okay, we can go to the next slide. Some chest and abdominal pain. Some chest and abdominal pain. Okay. Chest and abdominal pain with a dry cup. With a dry cup. Dry cup. Chest and abdominal pain with a dry cup. Uh, is okay. Still experienced. He's still experienced. Okay. Some chest and abdominal pain is like up. He's still experienced. Okay. He is experiencing this. He's still experienced. Right. Next. Now, next, what is there? So, wait again. So, you are writing to whom? To the community care home. So, now we no need to write that here. Next one. Inflammatory markers are back to common condition stabilized. So, independent walking and showering. Okay, this one you have to write. Slow, but independent walking and showering. Yes. Uh, Currently, currently, uh, currently, routine activities. Already, we wrote the daily living activities. So, routine activities, routine activities such as walking, showering, and toileting. Routine activities such as showering, sorry, walking, such as walking, 
for short distances come on showering and toileting okay how uh, okay are performed or or carried out without any external assistance without independently means without any external assistance like that you can write okay without any external assistance so next next without any external assistance right so that is finished that's finished is independent that is independent is able to manage okay when is able to walk in uh, slowly uh, routine activities were such as okay or carried out without any external assistance carried out slowly here you can write slowly but without any external assistance like that you can write so here you showering dressing also you can write and toileting right so this is during hospitalization right so this is the third paragraph you can write and in addition to this so what else is there here uh, weight gain 1.5 kg this also you can write weight gain okay right so week at admission do we get admission weight gain weight gain of 1.5 kg weight gain of 1.5 kg uh for after the dietitian after the review with the dietitian okay has been observed so you can write like that right these are the sentences you can write. main body should write four to five uh, sentences okay that's very clear so body paragraph 2 bp2 bp2 so clear so any doubts you can ask me then we'll move on to the next one finish the last paragraph so last paragraph that is body paragraph the main body paragraph 3 post to discharge the main body paragraph 3 upon discharge post to discharge post to discharge post to discharge post to discharge what have to be done paracetamol this is it okay this is body paragraph 1 so this is main body paragraph 2 main body paragraph 2 
then this is also main body paragraph two. And this is main body paragraph three. Main body paragraph three. Main body paragraph three. So we are stepping into the last paragraph. Okay, with that introduction, conclusion, finished, everything is done. I'm teaching them for the new students, Nisha, Rai from, uh, what's the name? Nepal, and Tasneem, and Abdul Ahmad Rashid, for all the new students, Rama and Pranita also. Yeah. So, this is main body paragraph three. So paracetamol, if necessary for chest abdominal pain. So that we have to write. So in case, okay, post discharge, okay, uh, in case, in case, uh, in case of persisting chest and abdominal pain, in case of persisting chest and abdominal pain, in case of persisting chest and abdominal pain, comma, okay, paracetamol. Paracetamol, uh, administering paracetamol and ministering paracetamol, okay, administering paracetamol as required, as required. So, in case of persisting chest and abdominal pain, administering paracetamol as required is recommended. It is recommended. Then next one. Next point is here. Keep the body warm. Keep the body warm. Maintaining the body at room temperature or maintaining the room, maintaining the body at room temperature or keeping the body warm, body warm, maintaining the body warm, okay, it is advised, it is advised, maintaining the body warm is advised. Maintaining the body warm is advised. Maintaining the body warm, okay, uh, is advised, is recommended, is suggested. Like that you can write. Next one. Next one is, yeah. Now, increased consumption. So, good nutrition. So needs to monitor diet. Regular monitoring of dietary regimen would be profoundly beneficial. Okay. Regular monitoring of regular monitoring of dietary regimen is suggested. Regular monitoring of dietary regimen is a suggestion. So that is the third point. Next point is, you can see here, increased consumption of fluids except fruit and vegetable. Okay. So let us take, copy the same thing as it is and modify here. Yeah. So here, uh, consumption of Regular consumption of regular consumption of what 
fluids comma x comma fruit and vegetables okay regular consumption okay. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Network was a problem. I connected to my mobile network. So vegetables increased consumption. <coughs> increased consumption of fruits, eggs, and vegetables, fruit and vegetables. Uh, is recommended, suggested, advised, preferred. Okay. Right. So, next. That is finished. Next to what else? Yeah, discharge plan. Next, you can see here. Good nutrition is over, fluids is over, monitoring is over. Then next, nursing management, what should be continued? Uh, encourage oral fluids, proper nutrition, this is done. Then chest physio, continuation of deep breathing and coughing exercises. This you can write. Okay. And sitting up is there. So encourage, this is continuation of deep breathing. So this one. So we can write this. Continuation. Okay, deep breathing and coughing exercises should be continued. Okay, deep breathing and coughing exercises should be continued. Yes, then next one. After that, sitting preference. Next one is sitting preference. Sitting up, sitting up rather than lying down. Sitting up rather than lying down is preferred for ensuring postural drainage. Postural drainage. Postural drainage. So that is done. Postural drainage. That is also possible. So, so whenever possible, sitting up rather than lying down. Sitting up whenever possible.
sitting up rather than uh, whenever uh, sitting up rather whenever possible rather than lying down is preferred for ensuring postural drainage so that you have to write then next one um, so next one ambulant as per physios review so ambulation regular ambulation for short to distances on a regular daily basis is required is necessary is recommended finished so that is done okay so finished now last paragraph that is fifth paragraph fifth paragraph body paragraph three or now we are doing the conclusion only two lines only two lines only two lines so those are common sentences what we have written in the introduction only the conclusion conclusion so now we are going to write the conclusion okay based based on the aforementioned circumstances based on the aforementioned circumstances based on the aforementioned circumstances what are the things we require regular ongoing care we told in the beginning ongoing care we told ongoing monitoring and appropriate management change these words okay based on the aforementioned circumstances continuity of care continuity of care in addition or you can say not only continuity of care not only continuity of care but also but also uh, but also uh, implementing the suggested plan of action would be profoundly beneficial to improve the condition of mr ramamurthy full stop so that's it next in case any additional information is deemed extremely relevant please do not hesitate to contact me fine so that's it that's the letter finished that's the letter finished so that is the letter so now so just uh, so that's the end of the letter so fine so i'll send you this copy to you personally okay in the telegram channel it will go here in the telegram channel classical corrections